Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm doing a current favorites today. I don't, every time. I don't do a monthly favorites because I often just keep using my favorites for a while, so I feel like I don't have enough new stuff to show you every single month, but I do like to periodically do a favorites video to show you guys some stuff that's new or new to me, and hopefully maybe new to you guys, that I've been really using. I'm not sure what's going on with my hands. <laughs> so I have some new faves. Not all of them are beauty related. Of course we do have some beauty. We got some skincare, some makeup, but I have some non-beauty items to show you guys as well. I think I like kind of mixing it up and show you, showing you a little bit of everything I've been liking. Let me know if you like that. Last time I showed some like books and some other things and you guys seem to appreciate that so so let's start off with with uh some some beauty um <clears throat> okay really excited oh something leaked on my bed okay charlotte tilbury recently sent me a goodie box with a bunch of their skincare products i love charlotte tilbury makeup i've gotten really into their stuff into her stuff this past year mostly and obviously really beautiful beautiful things but I haven't really ventured into the skincare department because my skin is so sensitive I've mentioned this so many times I'm extremely dry I don't I'm not breakout prone but for some reason I'm very sensitive to products if I'm breaking out likely it's because I tried something new I would say like 80% of the time products break me out and I don't really know why I'm probably allergic to some common ingredient that's used in a lot of different things so it's really hard for me to try new things but it doesn't really stop me. So when I find something that doesn't break me out, I am obsessed with it. So, so far I've tried everything that they sent me. Charlotte Tilbury doesn't break me out. I don't know what's going on. None of her makeup products do, none of her skincare products do. So I'm just over the moon. <laughs> what I've been most obsessed with that they sent me is this cleansing duo. It's a, I believe it's a new product. It's called the Glot, <laughs> The Goddess Cleansing Ritual, and it comes in two steps. You get a muslin cloth with it as well, but that's in the hamper because it's really dirty. You get this balm oil, it's like a gel, it starts off like a gel, but it turns into an oil cleanser, and that's the first step. So I put this on dry skin, I massage it in, it kind of takes off all your makeup. I even use it when I'm not wearing makeup. Most of the time I don't wear makeup at all, so it's just to mostly remove any like dirt or oil. It smells amazing. It's very like citrusy. It's very spa-like. So then I, you wet the muslin cloth with warm water, you wipe it off. Then step two is this charcoal-based cleanser that I then massage on pretty much the same technique. And this just makes sure you get every last trace of dirt, oil, or makeup. I've just been loving these both. They smell amazing, they feel great to use, and I've used so much of them already, and I've only been using them for about two weeks, and I just, I love them. My skin looks amazing. Like, I normally, um, I'm not breakout prone, like I said, but I do get blackheads. Like, perpetually, since high school, just blackheads here and here, there's nothing I can do. I can, like, squeeze them, and then they're back, like, two days later. But this, I've noticed such an improvement. I think it's like the double cleansing. I most of the time can't be bothered to double cleanse just because it's like an extra step. But um, these have been really encouraging me to do so just because they're so nice to use. So I had to include them. Another skincare product that I've been loving is by The Ordinary. This is their Mandelic Acid 10% plus HA, which is hyaluronic acid. So this is like a very gentle exfoliating serum that you can use daily. I've been using it every night. Some of the reviews I read that people complain that it's a little bit oily. It feels a little bit oily, I guess, but I'm dry, so I happen to love that. Um, it hasn't dried me out. It hasn't made me peel or be flaky. It's kept my skin clear. It's definitely improving the appearance of it. And best of all, it hasn't broken me out. So I've been loving this. I've used quite a bit of it. I got this on Amazon because I didn't see it on this Sephora website. So I don't know. That's where I got it. <laughs> Another beauty related slash skincare related. I got a dry brush. I know I'm late to the game, but for some reason, every time I saw a dry brush, I was like, it's not cute enough. Like, I really wanted to hold out till I found a cute one, and this one is really cute. I tried to look. There's no name on this. It's just like a generic. I got it at a boutique, but I'm going to find what this is and link it down below. But essentially, before you get in the shower, while your skin's still dry, you just want to like 
massage your skin in upwards motion upward motions towards the heart I don't really know why it's something about lymphatic drainage I don't know and it's exfoliating it gets the blood circulating it feels good I don't know I've just been enjoying it okay I have two other things I've been obsessed with I have to show you but it's too big to bring in here, so I'm gonna take you out in my other room. It's my molecule. I know I mentioned this in a vlog briefly when um, when I received it in the mail, but I really wanted to do a more in-depth video about it because I seriously am obsessed with this thing. First of all, it's so chic. So it's an air purifier for those of you who don't know why isn't it focusing on me. It's an air purifier and it's like the coolest, most technologically advanced air purifier. So Molecule sent me this months ago like when the fires were going on in LA and I was absolutely dying. I am very sensitive to the air here in LA. Like the pollution's obviously terrible. It's dry. We live in an arid climate. I just have allergies here that I didn't have when I lived um, on the East Coast. It's really been such a struggle for me to like live comfortably in LA and I feel like LA just keeps trying to like throw me some curveballs and get me to leave and I don't know why but I just keep finding solutions to whatever their issues are and I'm still here and I'm still kicking okay. So this thing is so cool. So it has two different filters so one filters out like larger particles like dust pet hair obviously I have two cats there's cat hair all over the place so it, it filters out that and then the second filter is a pico filter which completely obliterates bacteria and viruses so you're only breathing like clean air it literally replaces the air in a 600 square foot room so essentially my entire apartment every hour brand new air so this thing is great for someone allergy sufferers like me people who have asthma I just can't rave about this enough everybody who comes into my apartment for the first time like I like show them my molecule like I'm like and this is my molecule let me give you the tour to the rest of the apartment and then the other thing that has been really helpful that it's also a fave of mine is I got this um, thing called thermo pro I just like it's a magnet that I just stick on the side of my heater it's like a thermostat but I don't use this heater so um, it doesn't affect the temperature so it reads the humidity and it reads the temperature and it like tells you if you're comfortable so like look at the smiley face comfort level and this has just been great because I'm tired of like guessing like if it's too dry and I need to run my humidif humidifier or, you know, then sometimes when you run the humidifier for too long, it can get like too wet and then it makes it like harder to breathe. So anyway, I just bought this off Amazon. It was really inexpensive and it's just like between my molecule and this letting me know like what the humidity and temperature is in the room. I've got the perfect climate. Like I feel like I'm literally God like controlling my own environment. So yeah, those are the things I needed to show you out there. Okay, so a little home fragrance. Uh... <laughs> I am obsessed with this Mason Louis Marie candle. First of all, I love Mason, Mason Louis Marie. They're basically luxury candles, but without the luxury price tag. They're 30, about $35, I believe, which isn't cheap, but you know, it's not like a diptyque candle, which is like upwards of $65, $68. So these are $35. I don't feel as guilty burning them all the time. So the candle's not new to me. I know I've mentioned their candles before, but this number 10, did I mention this before? Okay, I might have because it's not that new of an obsession, but I didn't think I've mentioned it before, but maybe I have. Anyway, number 10, Abu Kir. I don't know how to pronounce it. This is the best candle. It smells so good. I, it's spicy, it's sexy. I say that with everything, but it's, it's spicy and sexy. <laughs> what can I say? If you're looking for a new candle, if you tend to like spicy, sexy, Give this a whirl. I don't think you'll regret it. Okay, have to mention Olaplex. Um, I know this isn't, everyone's heard of Olaplex, but honest to God, this saves my life all the time. My hair is blonde. I'm naturally a brunette, obviously. And this has like brought me back from the brink so many times. Recently, I, my hair was like so, so, so dry. It was feeling like damaged and I put this in my hair. I left it in literally for 48 hours, okay? Not even out of necessity. I have meant to just sleep in it and wash it out the next day, but your girl got lazy. What are you gonna do? 48 hours later, I was finally getting around to washing my hair. It was next level, like 
so soft. Like even my boyfriend said something, like he was like, your hair. I was like, I know. Yeah, so I'm almost out. I'm gonna have to get this again. Anybody out there who has damaged hair, Olaplex, number three, you can get it. It's not that cheap, but it lasts a really long time and it really, really works. The longer you can leave it in, the better. Necessaire Body Lotion. Honestly, their whole line I've been obsessed with. I'm not gonna go into detail because I just did an exclusive video with them, so I'll leave that up here if you guys wanna check it out. Um, if you're not familiar with the line, but this body lotion and their shower gel is just Something I've been exclusively using for the past month or so and I really 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 love Okay, something from milk milk makeup sent me their sent me a few products and in the package Was <laughs> why am I talking like that was their kush lip balm? They came out with like a kush line. I don't know it has like hemp oil in it or something um, it's a green balm, but obviously it comes out clear. Um, I'm wearing it now. I just, I keep this in my purse and I just like put it on all the time and I just really love it. It's got like a magnetic top. Love the packaging. I really love companies that put the little details into their packaging. It has like a really nice weight to it. It just feels luxurious and the, it's like very minty, but it, it's like a certain kind of mint. Like it's like a lemony mint or something. I don't really know if that's even accurate, but it just tastes really good and it's hydrating and I like it. Okay, last beauty product. I have a concealer here. This is by Tarte. You guys have seen me use it in a few videos. Um, it's their Shape Tape Concealer. I got this because a lot of beauty bloggers were raving about it, saying this is like the best concealer, it doesn't crease. I always find that that's a lie. I just everything creases on me and I just resign myself to that fact I wouldn't like dislike a concealer because it creases a little bit because I just find that that's just What happens? I was just curious. I guess um, This is a full coverage concealer and I tend to not like that So I was kind of thinking like I bought this I bought this out of curiosity, but I was pretty much prepared to dislike it greatly However, I love it. This is such a good concealer and it truly does increase. It's like insane. And it is a full coverage, but it's very creamy and not drying. So it doesn't like cake up under the eyes. I just dot it like ever so slightly, pat it in. It's great for covering up blemishes. It's just, I, I can't recommend it enough. It's great. The packaging isn't the best because it kind of gets a little bit messy, that huge doe foot applicator, but you know, it's all about what's inside, and I love it. But you know, I hate Tarte's packaging. It's so ugly, but sorry. <laughs> sorry, Tarte. If you follow me on Instagram, you knew this was coming, okay? I've been loving rainbow sweaters. I'm wearing one now. And this is the one that, like, I my last, like, three Instagram photos were me in this sweater. I just couldn't stop wearing it. It was, like, every other day. I would, like, take a day off, and then I'm, like... I can wear it again. No one saw me in this for 24 hours. So I feel bad because I got this from um, Crossroads. It's a consignment store here in LA. Um, so it's secondhand and it's American Apparel, RIP, right? So I know you can't get it unless you found it secondhand, but essentially, apparently it doesn't really matter what the sweater is. I just am loving rainbow striped sweaters. This one's from Urban Outfitters. I'm gonna find some other faves um, and link them below if you guys are interested. I have an appliance here. <laughs> this is a food processor. I have been wanting one for so long. Okay, I'm really into cooking lately. I've really loved like looking up recipes and like making things from scratch. I just find that very interesting. It's so satisfying, especially when you're new to cooking, to be like, wait a second, I can literally make a sauce from scratch. Like, from tomatoes, it's crazy. <laughs> now I'm super into that. I made my own hummus the other day. It was absolutely a smash hit with all of my friends and myself. And um, I couldn't have done it without my my uh, food processor. So this is from, this is Cuisinart. I believe it's the eight quart food processor. I got it on sale at Sur La Tabla and boy, am I so glad I did. <laughs> Honestly love it. If you don't have a food processor, like what are you doing? <laughs> What are you doing? Okay, last but not least, at all. Um, it's a new game, well, new to me, on my Nintendo Switch. Every time I mention my Nintendo Switch, all you Switch heads out there are like, download this game, what game do you like, blah, 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 let's exchange friend codes, okay? So I knew I had to mention this. I've been playing, my boyfriend turned me on to it. Um, I've, been <laughs> I've been playing this game called Overcooked. 
it's so much fun if you like like cartoon like kitschy like cute games download overcooked it's so fun it's really fun to play with another person it's also really fun to play by yourself you basically people order food and you have to make it <laughs> it sounds really dumb but it's it's serious okay and it's very fun so those are my faves i hope you guys liked this video let me know in the comments what your faves are and also let me know if you play overcooked <laughs> everything i mentioned is in the description down below and i'll see you in my next video